everywhere you drive, everywhere you look, there's something. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. An ancient wilderness of rock. The place the journey of wonder begins. This is uh, pretty high. Okay. One of those places that actually I feel like lives up to the height. All right, good morning. We are packing up here at uh, Washman Campground, which is amazing, by the way. Pick this one if you can. And there's even river sites, so check the map and look at those numbers when you're reserving because those look really cool. Lily's up doing her um, her chore for when we leave, which is what, Lily? And she loves it. She loves getting up there. She gets up there any chance she can get just to make sure there's nothing uh, going to mess up the slide. So she just clears up the slide. So, packing up. It's the biggest fly I've ever seen, and it's not afraid. It's Look. not afraid. Look, it's, I, I'm touching it. It's not afraid. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Oh no, it can't fly, that's why. Is it's, it frozen there? Yeah, it's, it's so cold. It that's fell off and it, it just fell. Is it alive? And it's just like this on the ground. It's so cold. That's sad. This fly is so cold, it can't fly away. Here, try to touch it. No, touch it. Touch it. See if it'll fly. See, it doesn't even... Well, <laughs> what the heck? It just sat out here last night. Let's make it fly. Here, hold this. Funny. We okay. cannot show this in the vlog. What are you doing? Are you doing? I'm teaching it to fly. <laughs> You're torturing it. It's moving its wings. Oh, yeah. Come on. Heat up, buddy. This thing would be so dead if it was an RRV right now. All right, we'll leave him alone, we'll leave him alone. There you go, buddy. Hope you don't die. I see a lot of leaves, you know, being in the Northeast. I don't see green leaves that are always falling. Being dead and green, weird. I'm used to seeing oranges and yellows and reds or browns. Not green, that's funny. Bye, Watchman. You were beautiful. I'm sad to leave this place. This place is great. I can't wait to come back. Uh, yeah, we're definitely coming back. It's just see you later. Because like we usual. did not do Angel's Landing, and we're going to talk about that in a second. Yes. <laughs> So this is where we are, here at Watchman, and then you could go up the road, and then all the way to the end is where the Narrows is, and that's where we went. Fun. The visitor center is actually outside. There's all these stations that you can walk around and explore outside, probably because of the volume of people that are here during the summer. And that is why there's a shuttle system. Zion Canyon was carved by the Virgin River, and it starts at an elevation of 8,700 feet above sea level, and then descends 7,500 feet. So that's how it's carved the canyon over the years. And it's so cool. Still changing it. Mm -hmm. like, to this day, I yep. mean, Zion Canyon is still being formed. Correct. And it makes sense because you're talking about sandstone, which is a softer stone and they get like so many flash floods like we talked about yesterday so like it's constantly changing the flow of the rivers constantly yeah, changing. Yeah, those floods will change it fast. Definitely. The visitor center is outside, which is neat. It's like a whole different version of visitor centers that we've seen before. Cool. I like it. Next mission, and we're choosing to accept it, mm -hmm. is a signed photo 
with the rig attached so we could figure out where to put this thing so we could take a sign photo and not walk a mile. Yeah, exactly. Every other time we went by, it was dark so we couldn't get a photo in. But now, of course, we have the rig attached. Correct. Even though we were only a mile from it. But you have to get the sign photo. It's Zion. Somehow we're gonna we're gonna make this happen. Of Seriously? course, there's construction happening right across from the sign. Oh, we could have parked right there. <laughs> Try not to hit any of these cones. You get like points for hitting cones, don't you? All right. So. Wow. That is. Very tight. Tight. Okay. I think I can zip over there. <laughs> you can zip, huh? Yeah, there's, there's tons of room. Where are you going? Right here. Oh, 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 oh. I thought that was another lane. Oh I really got super confused there. Oh, we're okay, good. We're, we're in. Good. Look at that. In the line. It's not making for very scenic sign shots. Yeah, perfect. I'll just see if I can go over this way a little bit. Oh, yeah. you can't go that far. Alright, we won't be crazy. This looks about right. This is it. Can you see Zion? Yeah, just don't hit the car behind you. Okay. Nailed it. That mission was way too easy. It was like not even worth filming. <laughs> Whatever. It's always hard to leave a place like this, but I am so excited to come back. Now that I know what it's actually like. Yeah, the whole, everywhere you drive, everywhere you look, there's something. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. Our main mission was the um, was the Narrows for this trip, and then we were only here just a few days because we couldn't really get um, reservations. This was the last minute. We found a cancellation. Yeah. We took it. Uh, so we didn't have time to do Angel's Landing the way we wanted to do it. Everybody's sore today, so I'm just not going to put my family at you know, risk. I would just at <laughs> risk like that. Die. Are you are you thankful for that, Lil? Thank and then I didn't want to like go up there, leave the family, do it myself. And then like feel accomplished and then never do it again. Right. Because I would be the pushing factor to do it a different time. Yeah, exactly. Seat belt. Get that seatbelt on. So we didn't do it this time. Um, I want to do it when the girls are ready to do it so we can do it as a family. So yeah. We'll, we'll be back here. We'll be coming back. I, I feel like awesome. this is kind of our MO. Like we get, we like preview a national park, get the feel for it, and then we go back. Yeah, then we go back. <laughs> but we have the ability to do that, thank God, right now. and. It's awesome. Yeah. We are going to Page. We're going to check out uh, Horseshoe Bend. Yay! We're on our way down to the Grand Canyon. So that's our next move. All right. One other quick thing about Zion is uh, there's a tunnel system that goes through Route 9, which goes through the park. Mm -hmm. So you could travel east, west, and to like Bryce Canyon really fast if you can go through that tunnel. Correct. So we, we cannot. Cannot because we're over the maximum length. Now the maximum length is 50 feet. If you're less than 50 feet and and less than 13 feet tall, you can get an escort. It costs $15. Right. I think it's worth it. I would have done that because of the trip alone. Right. Um, but the time savings, because we can't go through the tunnel and because of the direction we need to go, um, down towards Page, yep. cost us, what did you say, 55 minutes? Yeah, it's somewhere around there. Like, Google time. So yeah. that's worth $15. Yeah. I probably used, you know, a, a portion of that in gas. Right. Uh, but let alone, you know. Your time. Time. But in my opinion, probably the that drive and the time is, uh, is worth it. Exactly. The unescorted length is, um, there's no length restriction. It's just a height and width um, is 11 four foot tall. I think so. And, because and less than rounded. eight feet wide. Right. So, so you have to have an escort so you can go through the center of the tunnel. So like I'm pretty sure most class Turn C's and, US North. and stuff like that can just just do it like a regular car. Right. So just keep that in mind. Right. And I mean, you'll see signs warning you because you can't even get into the park without them saying you're not pulling that through the tunnel, right? That's true. Which they said to us yeah, but because we're going a... into Watchmen. That's something Google won't tell you when you put in the address. Man, this drive. 
drive into Page is unbelievable. Yeah. Because you come down over the hill and then just you see everything. Like yeah. we saw this lake, you know, 20 miles ago. You could see when you crested that that uh, that hill. It's beautiful. So we're coming up to the Glen Canyon Dam. Page is on my list of a place that we want to do some kayaking and and uh, camping, but not not right now. Oh, look at that marina. That is awesome. All right, let's check out this bridge. And there is a visitor center and you can do tours at this dam. The dam, yeah. For $5 each, and I think it's a 45 minute tour. So yeah, there's the Carl Hayden Visitor Center. That's where you get the tickets for the tour of the dam. made it from Page, Arizona. Coming down to Horseshoe Bend. So with our truck and trailer it costs ten dollars. Right. And this a car I think is five? I think so. Yes. I think it's just five. Yep. Not bad. We're racing to beat the sun. Which I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna do. No, probably not. Jess wanted to stop and take a selfie for somebody. Alright. Let's get down. It's just so big. Look at that. Oh my gosh, babe. Oh, it's straight down. Yeah, it is straight down. Right. Look at Horseshoe Bend. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. If this is this cool, how cool is Grand Canyon going to be? <laughs> What do you call that move? Is that like hyper drone mode? Look how cool that is. You getting all of it? Ooh. Take a photo. Ava just FaceTimed me. Yeah. Flip, the, flip it around. Can yeah. you see where you are? Yeah, I showed her. <laughs> see? <laughs> I'm off Nedra. Oh, right? it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that sky. Wow. The girls are doing some climbing right now. The girls were determined to make it up here. Corey, I think over on one of those ledges getting this gorgeous sunset. Layla, Catherine Nickerson, what are you doing? Crazy kid. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see that rock is down there. But it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Horseshoe Bend was really cool. Um, yeah. One of those places that actually I feel like lives up to the hike. It's a really neat place. The hike wasn't bad. We ended up having to hike back in the dark because I was trying to get some shots, some night stuff. And it didn't really pan out, but yeah, but just the photos that he was. got before the sun went down are incredible. It's impressive as you're walking down over the top and, and seeing it. It got us very excited for our next stop that we've been waiting for for years. Yeah, and we haven't done the Grand, Grand Canyon, Canyon yet. <laughs> we got a site that's right at the visitor center. What's the 
San Francisco? It's Trailer Village so, RV Park. So I was impressed that we were able to get in the last minute. I know. There. Yeah, we called on our way. <laughs> and because we're on our way. We have a very short period of time and, <laughs> per usual, we wanted to be able to walk to the canyon from our campground. So it was worth spending a little bit of money for us to be able to walk to where we want to go for sunset tonight and sunrise tomorrow. It's probably just $56 yeah. yep. for two adults and two kids. Yep. So here's a little preview, I guess, of the uh, Grand Canyon. Uh... This drive is spectacular yeah, coming down. Yeah, the whole down. drive coming out of Page has been amazing. So stunning and new. Like, it's amazing that we've been on the road for two years and we still find things that are new that we go, oh my gosh, when we pass them. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I have a feeling we're going to be saying that tonight too. Probably. What are we going to? Ooh, ah, point? Is that That's said? our hike tomorrow morning. We're oh, going to go okay. to Mather tonight for sunset, and then tomorrow we're going to do sunrise at another point farther down, and then we're going to do uh, a hike. I think it's called South Kebab. I don't know how to pronounce it. South Kebab Trail, and that takes us to Ooh, ah, point. Thank, Thank you. you. Have you guys been here before? We have not. No. Have you been with us tonight in the park? We, we are. are. Yes. Hey, Trailer Village, I take it? Yes. yes. Okay, once you detach, you won't have any problems with viewpoints. But uh, there is one viewpoint you can access with a vehicle over 22 feet combined length. Okay. And that's Desert View if you want to check out your first view of the Grand Canyon. Top of the hill, make a right, there's plenty of pull through parking there. Okay. Thank you very you much. Can access from the trailer. Village. Have a good time. Thank right, you. Enjoy. Bye bye. Same as last time, racing to make sunset. We got checked fails. in, set no. up in like what? 10 Maybe minutes? 10 minutes. Everyone used the restroom, we got back in the truck, and now we're on our way to the point we're trying to get to, which is Isubi Point, which apparently is a great spot for sunset. So, yeah, we're racing. I think I mentioned earlier that it was Mather Point. I was incorrect, that's our sunrise spot. Okay, so I was prepared to be underwhelmed by the Grand Canyon. Driving in, we saw a couple of little sneak peeks, and I was not yeah. underwhelmed. Kind of Even with the smoke that's it's filling, a little smoky, the yeah, which we didn't know about. Oh, maybe it adds some drama. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh. This is just massive, huh? Go out that way so that we can see both sides of the canyon, which is why it's supposed to be a really good spot for sunset. All right, let's go. Let's go. Because the sun's going down quickly. This is unbelievable. Let's go. Here, and we need to get to here. How long is it? Oh, 0.7 miles? Yep. Okay. Woo. Are you ready? Oh. You guys know how I feel about heights. <laughs> this is pretty high. This is uh, pretty high. Okay. Oh, so we got our little... Look at this. Look at the color right smoky now. Smoky sunset. The sun just went down. We did manage to grab our little We got the selfie. sunset. Wow. It's really neat. This is definitely the light I prefer. Yes. Like, I don't like middle of the day stuff. So that's why we rush around at sunsets. And tomorrow sunrise, and don't worry, we do have donuts. We do have donuts, yes. We're all like horse sounding. I know. <laughs> well, it's cold. It's been chilly. And the last couple nights that we've been getting sunsets, it's cold. Like Horseshoe Bend was freezing. It wasn't that cold. What's that trail? This is the crazy guy. Look what, show them what you're wearing right now. This is 
My feet are warm. He's nuts. My feet are warm. We have gloves and a blanket and hats. Know what that one is? Because I don't know. I you can see right it. there. Can you see how it comes down through there and zigzags right all the way down? All the way down to the bottom down here. Look. All right, we're gonna have to come back here and do a proper hike to the bottom. That's not happening tomorrow. That's not happening tomorrow, but we are doing a really cool hike, according to photos. I want to take a part of you here. Of us? Yeah. You gotta kiss each other, though. It's a kissy photo? Yep. Is here, how about I film it? kissy photo? You ready? Sure, maybe the second one. <laughs> oh, are you ready? Yeah, kiss. Dad, sunglasses off. Why are you holding the camera? I'm filming her. Okay, then turn it around at least. <laughs> The okay. camera's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the light's kind of yeah. This is looking really cool. opening up a little bit. Look at this. It's so dark. Time to get back up. Let's go. Can you do it one-handed, folks? <laughs> yeah. he, 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 he. Look at that sky. This is so beautiful. Yeah. So that's where we saw the sunset, and this is the point where we are right now. We're at 7,000 feet here. And then. What was this one? This one is 8,000 feet. So oh, there's over a 1,000 foot difference between the south side and the north side. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Just go outside. There's color. 